in this video, I want to quickly show you how uh, and what OS70 is. So OS70 is a Max for Life device that kind of syncs up your Ableton Live clips with your Resonum clips. So uh, if you start in, let's say, clip one on layer one or track one, uh, it will start clip one on layer one, but it will also influence the, the, the timeline position or the playhead position. So uh, it completely takes over the playhead. Uh, so if you speed up your clip or the global BPM, it will change tempo as well, which is really nifty. It really just takes over the whole um, the whole clip, kind of like SEMTI, only then over OSC. That's why it's called OS SEMTI. So let me quickly kind of build a set here. So on the left hand side I have an Ableton Live deck filled with three tracks and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or actually six, six clips per track. And I have the same amount of corresponding clips in Resolume uh, on three layers. So basically what I want to do is drop OS70 onto every track in Ableton Live. So this is this is OS70. OS70 has a couple of knobs. First off, it's good to set your IP address where you want to send your OSC towards. So in this case, I am sending it to this computer. So the local host is 127.001. But if you have, if you want to send your OSC to another computer, uh, you have to fill in this OSC address. If you save it, it will save it with the um, with Ableton Live deck. I think it's called a deck. Yeah. So you only have to fill it in once. Cool. So basically, what you can do is you can, as soon as I start playing. You can see that the, that the slider is already moving along with the position of the clip. And we can say which layer and which clip we want this slider to influence by automating these two integer numbers. So we just go to clip one on layer one and we can set the automation of, let's say, layer select first. So we want clip one on layer one to trigger clip one on layer one. So um, in the OSMT layer select, we select the first layer one. Always try to get it right underneath the two. So one. And then we want clip select, automate, automate uh, clip select. We want that on one as well. Cool. So what will happen if we trigger this clip is it will uh, immediately fire clip one. And yeah, it will control the playhead if I did everything right. So let's just trigger the clip. And there we go. So I can change the, the tempo. Stop it. It's completely in sync with this clip right here, which is great. So yeah, it's basically, you have to do this for every clip now. So we want clip two to trigger clips in layer one and clip two. So right there, underneath the three. Let's see if it works. Nice. It's a bit fast though. <laughs> Here we go. Bam. 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 Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this uh, for every clip now and I will fast forward through this process a bit. Okay. 
now we've done it for every layer here so I can yeah basically trigger whatever clip I want cool now I'm gonna do this for the other tracks as well bear with me okay Let's have a little jam, see if I did it right. So, beats, bass, nice. And synthesizers. So another, um, yeah, another thing about um, one of the other parameters of OS70 is uh, you can uh, set the layer opacity to the track um, volume, basically. So if I change the volume of the track, you can see that the volume, um, yeah, the opacity of the, of the clip is changing with it as well. This way you can mix in Ableton Live. Uh, if you just turn off the toggle, it won't listen to your uh, Ableton Live volume slider. OSC gate is just to turn off the device temporarily. Also, you can automate all these, um, yeah, all these button, all these buttons and number boxes. So you can change it on the fly, even in the sequencer mode. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye.